morning. Thank you for all the condolences last week for the funeral. It was a hard one. It was my husband's best friend, and it was his fishing buddy. It was really a hard one. And Lindsay's going to be gone this Wednesday, so I'm doing this beforehand. So this week we are doing a pot holder. Simple, simple, simple. Of course I blinged it up just a little bit more than the normal per person probably would because I'm crazy and a little on the nutty side, but that's okay. So what you're going to need is layer cakes, okay? You're going to need some of that. Lindsay's got the bolt behind her she can show you. It is called Insel Fleece. I really, really like it. And then I have cotton batting. You have to use cotton because you don't want it to melt. Okay, so what you're going to do is pick five, six layer cakes. Okay, they're 10 inch squares if you don't know what they are. So this is Monday Money by Mon Money Money. Monday Monday by Jill Finley. Okay. Lindsay just went to the bank, so that's what I'm thinking. Sorry, guys. I get a little flaky. So what you want to do, of course, this all goes together, is you need one for the back. And so I'm using yellow thread, so I'm going to use yellow. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put, you want your metal part of your insole fleece down, because that's where you're going to touch whatever's hot. Then you want to put on your cotton batting, okay? Okay, that's one little part. So you can move all this stuff over here and start your mess over on this side. Okay, then you need one piece you're not going to see, which is underneath here. But if somebody's going to look and peekaboo, you're going to have a piece under there so it doesn't look crappy. So pick a piece that you're not going to really care if anybody sees. So I'm going to pick, I have bolts of this, so I'm going to put this underneath. Okay, then what you're going to do is you have to pick four pieces and you're going to fold them in half. Remember directional. And it's got to go with this. And it's got to go with this because I've already made it. What I did was this is my three quarter inch mini points and then I made three quarter inch scallops for the other one. And then I've got my purple three eighths inch bias stick. Okay, so you need four. So let me just grab four that go really well together. And it's got to, of course, go with this. Remember the directional, because before I wasn't thinking, and I kind of made a mess. Okay. Let's go with, well, let's go, you know what? I haven't used this one. So remember directional. And you're going to fold them in half, so you need four that go together. So let me use... For some odd reason, I really, really, really like this. I think it's just cute as a bed bug in a rug. But I love checks, I love stripes, I love anything that's a little wild. Okay, this is directional too. But I think I'm going to take, you know what? i got to use some peach because I decided to use peach. Let's do a peach guy. And then let's do another. Just want to make sure you like them all together before you fold them all. Everybody asks how I pick my fabrics. It's all random. You know, let me do that. Move over here. Let me see if I like all these together. You're not going to see this one. Yes, I am messy. Yes, yes, and yes. I am very messy. I used to be a clean freakoid. That's gone in the wind. When you're cleaning and everybody else is sitting there picking their nose, you finally get to the point one day you go, hmm, I'm done. Okay. 
so because this is directional and you fold them in half just fold them all in half like I have this so because this is directional you always want the folded going toward the center okay this is directional also the other ones are not so remember it, you can't afford directional unless they're going up and down so let's put this one here and let's put this one here then what you have to do is you have to move this out here. I don't make these for a while and then I get really confused and I go, okay, what did I do? Then you just got to think about it for a while and then you're okay. It's kind of like when you do those boxes on the top. I have to sometimes do it two or three times because I'm going, okay, I get confused. Move this over and you want it all to match because you're going to sew a quarter or a half inch, whatever you like to do. And I always lower the stitch length. You want this nice and tight in here. That's a great way to use layer cakes and make a cute little pot holder. You can even use, do this with charms. I'll show you one week too. You can make cute little coasters. Okay, so you got that and it looks all nice and good. Isn't that cute? Okay, this is really cute. Okay, you know what I think I'm going to do? Lindsay's over there smiling. Okay, don't even do that, Lindsay Lou. She knows I'm, I don't like the two blues together. I know, just, it's okay. I'm weird. Now that looks better. I'm confusing myself. Let me start all over. It just looks better. I'm just saying. Don't you think? See, she shook her head yes. She agrees, so. I'm not going to get into trouble. Okay, I did something wrong. missed one. Well, I confused myself, guys. <laughs> Help me, Lens! <laughs> that one goes underneath that one. There you go. I got it. See how confusing it can get? So the key of the story is figure out what you're doing before it. It's still got blue, but it's not as I me as nuts. Okay. So, we got that. I like it better. Then, what you want to do is put this on top and make sure this is all matching, too. Then, sometimes I like square pot hold, holders, and sometimes I don't. For some odd reason, this one, a lot of times, I'll make rounded corners. Well, when you live on a farm, you don't have those really, when, in that day and age, they didn't have, oh, let's go buy one of those things. From the internet and you could you know round corners you use teacups you use plates you use anything that you had available and grandma was pretty ingenious <laughs> so this is what i'm going to use in the corner to round it so all you have to do is trace around it voila you get a rounded corner Okay, and put it in every corner. And I know I always talk about Grandma. Grandma, she was amazingly talented. She was awesome. She drove me wacko, but she was amazingly talented. I probably drove her more wacko than she drove me. 
because I was a little on the ADHD side. Well, more than a little. Lindsay brought some old home pictures out. <laughs> she had a good laugh over them, I'll tell you. She could always tell I was the ADHD one in the room. Let's just put it that way. Then I'm using the Bernina today, and I have on my walking foot or IDT foot because I just like the fact that it's going to be the bee dogs and everything's going to be even. And then once again, I'm the pin queen as usual. Just make sure everything is lined up well. I hand it to people that can do it without pins. Not one of my better attributes. I think it's from doing clothes sewing. Because if you were off, you got to do it again and again and again and again. Okay, got it pinned. Also, because I tend to be watching TV sometimes or a movie, and I kind of go, I get focused on something other, you need to leave an opening so you can turn it. So I'll mark the opening squirrel. So I'll mark the opening so I remember to do the opening because sometimes I'll be sewn away, sewn away, and there is no opening. So I'm going to sew this. Drop the stitch length to a two. Always back stitch. I'm going to do a little over a quarter. I got the walking foot on it. Of course I'm going to go around the curve, take out the pin. Backstitch when you get to the other side of the opening. And then make sure it's sewed all the way around and got everything. Then what I do, I don't like to clip, if you've ever noticed. With all my stuff, I always, you know, have little clippers. I'm going to cut it really close to the cutting line. Put on glasses, it would help. And then you can just turn it. That's the beauty of it. Without having to clip, paint it, and all that stuff. I just want to have it done. And one quick, easy swoop. Okay, now I've got it sewn all the way around. I've got it cut like really, really, really close to the sew line. Okay, also. This is not going to be live, but comment. We're giving away these cute little band-aids. What I was going to do is go upstairs, I have these band-aids, and put them all over my face. But then I thought that was kind of wasteful. <laughs> but I thought it would be funny. And put them up and down my arms, and I thought that would be kind of funny. But these are a giveaway, and they're really, really cute. They have sewing machines and all the different kind of sewing things on them. So comment. Between 10 and 10.30 on Thursday, Lindsay will pick somebody's name, and you will get these free. So, please, between 10 and 10.30 on Wednesday. on Wednesday, comment. Okay, so once you're done with that, then all you want to do is put right sides out. And like Lindsay said, I tried to get away with no two blues, but because it's directional, no such rock. But, you know, you always can try.
Your pink folded over the wrong direction. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, girlers and guys, whoever is watching. Then, what you want to do, push out all the corners. Then, when I straightened up something upstairs, it's amazing what you can find. <laughs> it's kind of shocking all the crap you can find <laughs> in this spot. Still haven't found my remote for upstairs, though. So, because I don't want to take the time and pin it and all that stuff, well, I will. I don't take all the time, but I'll put it all out. Then what you're going to do is this little guy, you're going to fold in. A little over a quarter so it matches. Let's iron this little guy. Actually, it's pretty darn good. Pull these little guys in. And then what you're going to do is sew all the way around. Make sure this is good. I'm driving me nuts if it's not. Better. I was trying to show you, but I'll show you after I get it done. There we go. Wonderful, guys. And I'm going to pin this little guy here. Let me do it this way. So you can see. I got this cute little dog. Her name is Harley, and she's madly in love with Lindsay's wiener dog. She's a schmorky. Lindsay's dog is a wiener dog. They would have some ugly puppies. So he's up. I don't know. Did you bring him back? No, she didn't bring him back. He was here earlier today, and boy, he thinks he is a stud muffin. When he goes over, it's pretty cute. She thinks he's the Brock. Pretty darn cute. I love animals. Obviously, because I have four dogs and a cat. Probably the influence of living on a farm kind of rubbed off a little more than it should have. Okay, then I'm going to sew all the way around. I'm going to move my stitch length to about a three. For the walking for again. And I'm going to be using yellow because my back is yellow, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to be putting the other stuff over the top.
Okay, so I got this sewn all the way around. I'll cut off the little boobies in the back. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make your three quarter inch scallops. I've showed you many, 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 many times. Then to gather it, and okay, let me back up the truck for a minute. So you do it like you do, and I did one and a half times the width of fabric. So it would be 40 plus another 20 inches because this one I did two times around. You know, so it would be 40 and 40, 80 inches round. So I wanted it really tight and really like, holy moly, smoly holy, okay? But this one I don't want as much. So to gather, a really easy thing to do is before you gather it, I take and I glue these down so they don't drive you nuts. The opening, so I take glue, and I glue both sides of this, I glue it, then after I'm done gluing it, then I iron it. So that these little guys don't pop up and drive you wacko. Okay, then another easy way to gather is put your tension on an 8 or 9, you stitch length on a 6 or a 5, 7, whatever your machine works the best at. If your thread keeps breaking or comes undone, you know, change your tension or change your stitch length. Your machine will tell you what works best for it. Make sure before you start gathering, you take and you start on a piece of fabric to go so both your bobbin and your top threads are out. So you have threads to grab onto, okay? Then all you have to do is gather it. It's awesome. I'll find the easiest way and the laziest way to do anything. My hair, anything. Because why not? Okay. Then this is going to go on here. Okay. So you want to put it all the way around. It's not like going to be as gathery as this. A lot of times what I do before I start a project is I'll mark exactly four times all the way around. This doesn't have to be as picky because it's not going to be... This is just something you're going to have at home. You can give it as a gift, and hopefully the person you give it to is going to sit and measure and make sure you have it perfectly measured all the way around. I wouldn't think anyways. I think they'd be so thrilled to have a cute little pot holder like this. Okay, so then after you're done with that, what you need to do is... Okay, gather the whole thing. getting those the pets guys also make sure you remember the band-aids <laughs> okay okay so you're gonna put this on all the way around okay like I did this then you're going to sew it down with a decorative stitch okay all the way around you can use the peach in the top and you can use the green in the bottom, whatever you would like to do, okay? Then, I didn't use it on the bias on this. I wish I had. So, I did this one on the bias. This is my 3 8 inch. You would cut your strip at a 3 quarter inch, okay? Because when I got around the corners, it was like a little, oh my gosh, I should have done on the bias. I was just being lazy. And then... I thought, eh, I'll show you guys, and I should have done it on the bias. But, you know, trying to save time, and yeah, it will be fine, and it wasn't as fine as I thought it would be. I'm not showing you how to do this. You just take your little bias tape maker, put on a whole lot of spray starch.
And there's your bag. Okay. Then what you do with this is once you're done, and I cut off the end, then I take my glue and I make sure. Okay, glue work. The other one did. Probably. I left it open or something. I've been known to do that a few times in my life. You don't want a raw end starting. Let's put it down like this. Couldn't find my stiletto today either. It is someplace around here. I was like, dang, I can't even find my stiletto. So then after you have it all sewn down, then all you have to do is put this on top of this. And that I glue all the way around. Okay? And then when you're done, then I take and I sew on both sides of this. And then it looks just like that. And I use both the three-quarter inch scallops and the three-quarter inch mini points. And it just looks just adorable. I think it's darling. Easy, simple, wonderful. And if you want to make a loaf of bread, Rock and roll. And that's a really cute gift to give to some neighbors or friends or somebody's birthday. God bless. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you next week.